Sarah has a secret even she doesn't know. Marked at birth with the imperial crest, her royal identity cannot be disputed. But when prophecies and politics threaten her life, she is taken from her home and raised with a secret. One that when discovered will shake the kingdom to its core. Mark of Royalty is a novel that's based in the Renaissance time period and it has a fairy tale type feel to it. Um, we read this book as a family and every time my mom had to stop, get a drink, take a break, I'm like, let's just keep reading. I would recommend it. It's a fun read. It's wholesome. It's adventurous. It's for anyone that loves a good fairy tale. You'll, you'll feel great reading the book. Um, I really like the war strategy mainly because of all the tricks he use. I love when she gets Puka and just Clyde's reaction when she brings him home. It's, I just love it. It's hilarious. My favorite part of the book was the orchard scene and it was my favorite because it was so, it was, it made me giddy reading it. I thought it was so cute and seeing those characters um, interact for the, for the first time and um, not knowing who they were and what was going on, but just, I don't know, the whole unicorn part, I, I loved it. The book has been inspired. I'm, you know, we would sit down to write and it would just flow. Sarah's very fun to watch because as you see through the book, she doesn't know about her past, but as the book moves along, you can kind of see things coming out in her character and you see a little bit of her nature that shows that she's destined to greatness. A little bit of her royalty comes through in different areas. Apollo is the catalyst for the whole story. He has such a short part in the book, but he is the whole, the, the whole reason for the story. My favorite character in the book was Sarah, and that's because I really felt like I could relate to her, and I feel like a lot of people probably can relate to her. Sarah's very spunky, um, very independent, which in that time period is very controversial for women. I like Miranda because she's just like the perfect mother. She cares for both her stepdaughter and then her real daughter equally. And she makes sure that um, even though she can't tell Sarah right out that she's a princess, that she knows that she's special. And that's another reason why I like Miranda is because she takes on so much in taking care of Sarah and um, shielding her identity from the rest of the world that, you know, that's part of the reason why I really like her is because she really steps up to the task. Just because it's characters like that that really make life rich, that, you know, you have the funny little things in life that you just fall in love with and you also have the people that just make life just that much harder like Lady Pendleton and, and they're all part of the fabric that make life real and interesting. It's a romance, it's got adventure in it, politics, war, absolutely, intrigue, murder plots, <laughs> mystery, it's got a lot. What I hope our readers get out of the book is a sense of satisfaction, and then when they're done, I want them to close the book, and I want them to say, wow, I liked that. That's what I want. I want people to really enjoy it. Me too. <laughs>